Hey there, you guys. This is a general reading <clears throat> for the new moon. Um, depending on where you are in the world, it will be December the 29th. And this new moon is in Capricorn. So I'm going to do a general reading for the energies within the new moon. Okay, so I'm just going to tune into the Capricorn energy and this new moon's energy collectively on what needs to be released. So what is it that we need to release? Have to be of our highest good during this new moon. What needs to be released? Okay, moving on. So, I mean, that's kind of <laughs> self-explanatory, but <clears throat> all right. So where should our focus be? Where should our focus be for this? new moon where should our focus be okay the solar plexus okay intentions to set what intention should we set which would be of our highest good during this new moon what intention should we set as a collective in our own individual way which will be of our highest good what intention should we set during this new moon Okay, we have victory and success. Okay, what do we need to reflect? What do we need to reflect upon during this new moon energy? What do we need to reflect upon? What would spirit suggest that we reflect on? We have 13, transformation. <clears throat> okay. What is the challenge? What is our challenge? What is our challenge within this new moon? What might be a challenge or a seemingly obstacle this new moon? We have emotional withdrawal. Actions to take or suggested approach during this new moon, which would be of our highest good. What would our action or suggested approach be, which is of our highest good? Okay, a lot of cards flew out, but we're going to choose one, Divine Spirit. One major action or suggested approach, which is of our highest good during this new moon. Okay, solitude. All right, and what is a lesson that we are to learn or must learn or will learn during this new moon's energy? What is the lesson to learn from this new moon? What can we learn during this new moon period? Okay, we have rest and rejuvenation. Okay, what is our fears and desires during this new moon? What is our fears and what is our desires? Okay. <clears throat> Firm foundation. Okay, what will be manifested during this full moon? What will be manifested? During this full moon, what shall we manifest if guidance is followed during this new moon? Okay, the throat chakra. And finally, what is the shadow energy? The energy that is underneath the surface that we are not aware of during this new moon. What is the shadow energy, divine spirit? Okay, partnerships and alliances. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. So the first card we have is what we need to release during this new moon. We have the moving on card. <clears throat> okay, so what needs to be released when it comes to moving on? These are things that don't resonate with us, obviously, anymore. Um, mentally, we're picking up that I need to release this aspect of myself. I need to release this person. I need to release... Uh, this attachment, I need to release this environment, I need to step away from this, I need to step away from that. These are things in our mind that we're, we're getting these epiphanies or these ideas or this calling that says, 
I need to move away from this. So whatever those things are for you, those are the things that you need to walk away from. These are the things that you need to release. Okay. So for instance, you're getting the call that, you know what, I don't even need to be um, interacting with this person anymore. I don't need to be associating myself to these people anymore. Like, why am I doing this? Like, what am I getting out of this? That is your higher self telling you that that doesn't resonate and it's time for you to move away from that. It's time to move towards things that do resonate with you that are for your higher good. He has, <clears throat> it's like a rope or a clock or something like that. So it's like the timing with this attachment or these things that you've been attached to, the time is up and it's time to move away. It's like an alarm clock that's gone off inside of you that is showing you what I need to release. So our focus, where our focus would need to be, which is of our highest good, we have the three of third chakra, the solar plexus. Okay, so our focus needs to be on our, our center, okay, centering ourselves. Tuning into the I amness of who we are, our confidence, our creativity, our life force, stepping into our true power within, finding that balance. So this may require, the focus may require on your health. It may require you focusing on your highest good, your needs, um, doing chakra meditations, working with crystals, um, or doing... Uh, vision, uh, vision meditations, getting a rec, uh, rec, rec, I don't know how to say it. You know what I mean? <laughs> healing session. I don't know how to say it. Um, session, getting that healing done on this particular chakra. And, and maybe some of your lower chakras can also stand for some healing as well. Some attention. So there's a lot of needing to focus on self I'm getting to working on the chakra, but also focusing on self and what is of my highest good. What is this healthy for me? Does this help me evolve? Is this helping me to grow? Do I feel secure? Do I feel balanced? Do I feel whole? Do I feel safe within this as the things that come up? So it's like you need to focus on what's good for you and create from that space as well. Creating from a space of your what's in your highest good right now. In this new moon, the intentions for you to set is six victory and success. So your your intentions to set or would be things that are of your highest good. I'm getting that a lot because you also have six with the moving on card. So this is like things that are not harmonious to you that are imbalanced um, where things are just not coexisting in the way that they should be. So here within your intentions to set it's like the things that do resonate with you the things that are of your highest good the things that you truly want for yourself what your highest self wishes to accomplish accomplish or succeed in what would make me feel truly victorious what would make my soul feel victorious and successful like I've done something what is my true calling what do I really want Set intentions based upon these things that are your soul's truth, your true calling in life, where you want to be. The things that need to be reflected upon, you have number 13, transformation. So I'm getting to reflect on your transformation, obviously. Reflect on how far you've come, how much you've grown as an individual, how much you've healed. Look at how much your heart has expanded and evolved Look at the way that you love others and as compared to how you used to love or maybe your connections to other, how you've opened yourself up to others in the past compared to now. Are you more open? Am I more receptive to love? Am I more giving to love? Um, do I feel more balanced when I give love? Have I learned a new way of loving that is unconditional um, compared to the past where it was all conditional where I love you because and you are this so I love you or you didn't do this so I don't love you now I'm looking at 
the bigger picture. I've transformed. I've healed. How much have I grown since that last heartache or since that last disappointment or that childhood trauma? Look how far I've come. Look how much I've grown. That's what needs to be reflected upon is your your inner transformation as well as a transformation in your world. Um, compared to your inner transformation, how has that reflected back to me? How is my outside also transformed? Your challenge, <clears throat> you have the eight of emotional withdrawal. So it might be hard for you to withdraw emotionally from some attachments, some karmic ties that have already played themselves out. It might be painful for you to let these associations go right now. Um, it may be hard for you to see just how good you really are without them because deep down you know that it's time to move on, but a part of you is still kind of holding on, still kind of hopeful, still kind of praying that things will turn around with the situation. But it's like these things maybe even time and time again have proved to you that the ties need to be severed or there's aspects of you that are just not working anymore. This job isn't working for you anymore. This neighborhood isn't working for you anymore. That car isn't working for you anymore. That person, that lover, whatever it is, it just isn't meant to be anymore. It's time to sever those ties. And it's going to be challenging emotionally because your heart is invested. So it's like you kind of have to cut the, um, the heart connect off too which is going to be hard. Mentally, you're getting that call, but emotionally, it's hard for you to do, <clears throat> which is understandable. The action for you to take during the new moon is nine solitudes. So this is a major arcana. So focus on um, inner reflecting. Take action of just taking focus on myself. What do I need to look at? What else can I learn um, how can I apply the things that I've learned moving forward? Just taking some time out for yourself. Um, it may be that you are going to have to close yourself off to those around you, whether that be physically or just emotionally, just to find balance within yourself and see where you are and where you want to be. Learn some more things, possibly teach in some way or look at what you've learned and how can I take that and apply that to this current situation so it's a time of a lot of self-reflecting looking at your wisdom what's good for me um looking at the endings having peace with yourself within this completion with the number nine it's like how I can find peace within this healing with moving on the lesson for the new moon is the four of rest and rejuvenation. So you're learning, I'm getting to find peace within yourself, but also to find wisdom within yourself and be at peace with what you've gathered. So in your solitude, um, within going into the solitude, you're going to find some type of wisdom there, some type of illumination. And what spirit is trying to teach you through all of this is to find your own inner guidance, follow your own compass, your own soul's truth, and be at peace with your soul's guidance and your soul's truth rather than doubt it and be all over the place and say, you know, I'm going to give this person another try, even though my soul is telling me, my higher self and my guidance is telling me that it's time to stop. So it's like you're learning how to find balance within your truth, within yourself, and how to how to apply that on the outside world, actually make it so, actually stand firm on that truth. Okay, so what are your biggest fears and your desires during this new moon? And you have the four firm foundation. <clears throat> so I'm getting that you fear that you're going to lose these solid connections that you've had, these relationships or these things that you've built living in this neighborhood all of your life for so many years um leaving a job that you feel holds you down or um is a solid income for you leaving this friendship leaving this relationship moving from your family even though you're being guided to start a new life it's so many different things because we all have our own unique situations but whatever it is you're feeling like you're walking away from some type of comfort or something that you've you built a long time 
okay, that you have to walk away from that and you're fearful, but your desire is that you will build things that you really truly know are best for you and that will be solid and firm for you, that you'll be able to build these things, something real this time, that I'll be able to build real friendships. I'll be able to build um, a business on my own that really resonates with me. I'll be able to build a real relationship with someone that has the same mindset as me, that wants the same things in me, that wants to strive um, and grow and evolve like myself and friends who encourage me, who support me. I would like to have those foundations. So that is your desires within it. But your fear also is that you'll lose out or that you are turning your back on these things that you've built or these relationships that you feel have have this solid foundation. It's firm. It's been standing for all of these years. This car, I've had this car since I was 16 or I've been in this city or this state and this job and this career, whatever it is for you. Okay. All right. So what will be manifested if guidance is followed for this new moon? And we have the fifth chakra, the throat chakra. So what will be manifested? I feel like a lot of you are going to have to obviously speak your truth. You have to communicate from your highest self about a situation. And it will be about partnerships and reliances, alliances, I'm sorry, because you have the shadow energy. So this is something underneath the surface. You're not aware that this new moon is affecting your connections to others. Your alliances, your dedications, your devotions to something or someone or someone's um, is at the forefront of all of this. Okay. This is where you're going to have to tune into your power, which is where your focus is. You have the three of partnerships and alliances and the third chakra. You have a lot of the same numbers. You have a lot of threes, sixes, and nines, fours. So I'm getting that you will be with the fifth chakra, number five is a shift of something or releasing or letting go. So you might have to express the, that you it's time to let go. It's time to release something. It's time to move forward. It's time to shift. And your focus is on going to be what's of my highest good. So the shadow energy is that you're actually reflecting on, do I feel, do I feel in a, a space of balance within myself due to this partnership or this alliance? How does it make me feel ultimately? So you're asking yourself this. And, and so you might have to communicate that it's time to let go. I need to walk away from this. I can't do this anymore. You know, I need to look for another job that's more resonant with me. I need to break up because I don't feel like we are in the same space anymore. I feel like this friendship has ended. I don't feel like you support me enough. I don't feel like we're growing together. I love you, but it's time for us to separate. Um, this state of mind, this isn't working for me anymore. So you know what? I'm affirming a new way of going about things. So this is affirming or speaking your truth and releasing. And it's like it causes a shift. Okay. So what's really happening is your partnerships and alliances is really what's underneath the surface of this new moon. That is the focus, obviously, um, with the other cards, it's kind of showing itself through that as well. So I'm going to pull some cards from my karma card deck as advice from spirit with this new moon. So I'm going to pause the video as I clear these up and I'm going to shuffle from the other deck. Be right back. Okay, so I'm going to pull from the um, the planets and the signs and the houses. Okay, so let me go ahead and shuffle them individually. The planets, what planet is working with us um, during this new moon? What is the energy here? What is the message, the guidance the spirit has? What is the guidance? Okay, that kind of flopped out. We have Mercury. Yeah, it is Mercury retrograde. All right, so what sign? I know we're in the moon, of, um, Capricorn's moon, but 
possibly another sign that's also influencing this energy. So let's see here. That's the message that wants to come through. This card standing out to me. We have Virgo. Virgo shows up a lot. And we have the houses. So the houses. Let's see here. have the fifth house all right so the action so we have spirits communicating communicate the serving of others with the trust of a child so it's kind of like you have to communicate from a place that's of your highest good and others good so if you know that this job is not working for you you you're not being yourself so it's like if I leave this place or if I leave this relationship, it attracts what's meant for me and it will in turn also attract another a valuable asset to the company or this person's true partner, my true partner. Or if I leave this house, it'll be fitting for another family or someone else who needs this house to move in. If I move out, it's like that type of energy. If I give up this car, there might be someone else who might be looking for this car or might benefit better than me and I'll be attracted or bring in the car that's meant for me so spiritually that's what you want to communicate okay the mental you have analyze the details of fun romance and making art so mentally focus on the details of what you want out of life are you experiencing fun and romance and are you creating from your true space of joy and happiness so that's where they're wanting you to focus. As far as your physical actions during this new moon, their guidance for you is let your mind tell you how to do what you must do and do it dramatically. So you're being guided. They're telling you to listen to your guidance, what's being told to you through yourself and take the action. It says dramatically. There's two dice here. So there's like a game or risk for you within whatever you're doing. So your actions are going to be outside of yourself not what you would normally do okay if that makes sense all right so the outcome of these things let's look at the outcome all right so spiritually the outcome we have is the awareness of methods for the healing power of the power of love so spiritually what you're going to manifest is the awareness of your healing how i've healed when it comes to love the power of what unconditional love can do just because i decided that we can no longer be together we can no longer be friends or we can no longer work together or i can no longer drive this car anymore i can no longer live in this neighborhood anymore doesn't necessarily mean that i didn't love it or i didn't appreciate it but i have enough awareness and knowledge to know that not everything lasts forever but love does last forever if i know that this doesn't serve me anymore then it's time for me to love it enough to release it for someone better or for something better and for me vice versa okay the mental outcome will be many thoughts about or from the analyzing of investment gambles and other games so mentally you're going to be analyzing all of your your investments your devotions your connections that you put forth it's like you're going to be really looking at all of those things you'll need to look at those things because it's going to show you some type of truth of the situation like the risk that i've put in to love this person how did it benefit me how did i grow how did they grow did we did we evolve? Are we moving? How is this car benefiting me now? Am I spending a lot of money on this car? Am I investing too much and it's still breaking down? Is it time for me to let it go? So it's like you're analyzing all of your investments, all of your the things that you put forth, all of your attachments. The physical outcome, you have many worlds or many words, sorry, many words resulting from the perfectionism of your creations. So physically, you're going to be communicating from your highest space, your truth, the perfectionism of who you are and what it is that you want for yourself. So if you have to tell someone that I cannot work here anymore, I can't be with you anymore because I want this for myself and this is what I see for myself. This is what I deserve and this is what I would like to bring in. That's what this is saying. Okay, so that is your reading, you guys. I do hope that this will be beneficial for you, that it helps, that it resonates. 
And as always, I send you guys lots of love and lots of light. I will also do a love reading for the new moon for partnerships, singles, people who have love interest as well. All right. So stay tuned for that. Much love.